So in this video, I am going to configure Google's credential provider for Windows. So I'm logged in into the admin console. So on the left side, I'm going to click on devices, click on mobile and endpoints, click on settings. I'm going to click on Windows. So on the right side, I'm going to click the first one, Google credential provider for Windows setup. So I'm going to click on permitted domains and here is where I have to configure what domains a user is going to be allowed to log into. So I'm going to type two domains and it says allow only Google accounts in the specified domains to sign in through GCPW. So I'm going to type two domains. I'm going to click add domain. So I'm going to add another domain. Click add domain click save so you can see it's listed here the two domains so you can type in more domains if you would like so if a user tries to log in with a gmail account or another domain that is not permitted they cannot log in now here's where you have to download the gcpw file so you just click on that and i'm going to download the 64 bit i'm going to minimize this So this is the file here. I'm going to install it. So it's installed. So I'm going to click on this arrow sign. Now you might see this message. Your administrator doesn't allow you to sign in with this account. Try a different account. That's because this workstation needs to be synced with the G Suite. And this is going to take maybe a few minutes. So what I do, I leave it to sync. So here's the sign in option. So when I click on that, I have the Google icon. I can click on that to log in with the GCPW. There's also the key icon. And when I click on that, I can log in as administrator locally on the computer. So if you join this computer workstation to the domain, you can log in with the domain account. Now the users that are going to be using this computer, they would not have any kind of domain account. They will only have a, a G Suite account where they can log in into this workstation. So this is for admin purpose. So I'm going to log in as a user. So now the user is logged in using the GCPW. 